everyone going inside a school building Monday will be required to wear a mask. The TUSD union president says her greatest fear is too many people at school with too little physical distancing could lead to an outbreak that would impact all of Tucson. The school board president says the district is in a very tough position. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink breaking this one down for us tonight. In just a few days, around 1,400 at-risk TUSD students are expected to be spread out across 86 campuses, distance learning at school. But the district says there's still about 4,000 other students who have registered for school but haven't specified if they plan to stay home or learn in the classroom. So there's a chance that many more students than planned for could show up to campus next week. That's our biggest concern is if you don't know how many students will be arriving on Monday, then you're bringing back all of your staff, but that creates more people on campus, more possibilities of transmission. TUSD Board President Crystal Ann Foster says the Pima County Health Department shows our area remains in a COVID-19 red zone. And she argues the safest place for kids is at home. Yet the schools have to open their doors. Is the district ready to do this? We, we don't have a choice, Eric. The, the governor's executive order says we will open for at-risk students. And if we don't, if we go against that executive order, then we face a financial a financial crisis. Foster says TUSD is between a rock and a hard place. I know that keeping schools closed and keeping as few bodies in those schools as possible is the best way to, to socially distance. Your student will just be sitting in the same room all day. It is not going to be the normal normal day. I, I, it just reminds me of prison in a way. I mean, I, I don't want to discourage people from being in the district but being in the schools at this point is not a good idea. Cheney knows safety in this unprecedented time is paramount and far from promised, but she does make this commitment to her community. These things are different and they're, they're strange and they're weird and they're uncomfortable, but we are doing our level best to make sure that you're gonna be okay. Every single kid. And my job, is to ensure that every employee also feels that they're gonna be okay. We've got you covered. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.